What is going on, you guys? I'm your host, Stacey Cole Morgan, and you are listening to the Morgan Man Sports Podcast, Emergency Podcast Edition. Ladies and gentlemen, guys, the Falcons have done possibly the unthinkable of getting one of the best defensive players that has played in the NFL for this current generation. That is Calais Campbell. Guys, the Falcons have landed Calais Campbell in this year's free agency market. So this is the tweet from Ian Rappaport at Rap Sheet on Twitter. Sources, the Falcons are making another splash as former Ravens star Calais Campbell attends to sign a one-year deal with the Falcons. Pro bowler and former Walter Payton man of the year will lend leadership to a young team and he believes in. And Atlanta adds yet again on defense. Guys, not only will this be leadership and all that, it's also going to be that veteran IQ whenever he plays on the field alongside with Eddie Goldman, Grady Jarrett. I mean, this list is going to go on. Guys, I'm I'm not afraid to say that this is going to be a top five defensive line in this year's NFL season. I really... I'm not afraid to say that, especially now since, again, you got Grady Jarrett, who has got tremendous, and I mean tremendous help, and Eddie Goldman, and now Calais Campbell. And all credit goes to Terry Fontenot as well. Looking back at it, I mean, Terry Fontenot, he is a slick-talking son of a gun, okay? Like, he brings in a 15-year veteran who was respected all across the league, who has made tremendous contributions to each and every single team that he's played for and has made an impact. And now he comes in to the Falcons organization. This is just golden right here. And to have, again, to have Calais Campbell, this is a top five defensive line in the entire National Football League. And, of course, everybody's reacting on Twitter saying, you know, this is a huge W, including myself, you know, huge W to start off the day, on and so forth. And, of course, you got some negative people saying, okay, yeah, great. The Falcons is always going to falcon it up of signing one of the best players who is way past her prime and it's not going to provide much value. No, I disagree with that. I mean, yes, it is 15 years. And... Eddie, uh, not Eddie, but uh, Clayus Campbell, he is kind of of the age where he is near retirement. But by gosh, he is still playing at a high level, guys. A huge high level proficiency from Clayus Campbell. And that's what you're going to get, especially under Ryan Nielsen defense, is aggression, toughness, and this is what this defensive line is really going to get. So that was the emergency part of the podcast, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, I sure hope you did enjoy that part. But let's also talk about Desmond Ritter right quick. Desmond Ritter has been now named the starter for the 2023 season. Like Arthur Smith and Terry Fontenot are expecting him to make that next step whenever it comes to productivity winning games, everything that you expect for in a quarterback, that's what Arthur Smith and Terry Fontenot is looking for. Like, they believe in him. They trust him. Yes, I, the Falcons fans really wish it was four, well, more than four games last season for Desmond Ritter to be out there. But from what that small little package tells us within this last four games, two road games, two home games, he made improvements. Very first game against the Saints, you almost win it. The clock management was not great, so you cannot really, you can't really put that on Desmond Ritter because again, it's his very first NFL game, you know, as as a pro in the regular season. Second game, you know, he's definitely making better throws, running a little bit more. I think he even scored a touchdown, if I'm not mistaken, and then. Your last two home games, I think it was Cardinals and Bucks, if I'm not mistaken. 
you you absolutely dominate it, the scenes right there. Like you're you're you having accurate balls, you're running when you need to, making smart decisions. And that's what you like to see is that actual progression moving forward. So again, I wish it was more of the four games, but with that small little package, I believe it's just just enough to where I think you can really say comfortably that Desmond Ritter needs to be the starter moving forward, and you got Taylor Heineke as basically the backup, and he's going to teach Desmond Ritter a lot of things that he knows that Desmond Ritter doesn't, and he's going to say, on looking on the Microsoft Surface laptop, you know, hey, look, you know, this is what you should have done in this play instead of this. You would have got, you know, X amount of yards or even a touchdown. Plain and simple as that. And, of course, the source does come from Arthur Smith himself at the owner's meeting that's happening this week. So, I, I love the decision to make Ritter the starter for the 2023 season. And, of course, if things do go south and you're not feeling as comfortable with Ritter no more, you always got Taylor Heineke, who has proven that he can turn things around. Just look at the Washington Commanders. So, guys, uh, that was all I have for today's episode. But before we do go, with all these signings that Terry Fontenot has done, maybe he needs to go on the golf course and play some golf. But he doesn't need to wear any just regular old polo. Oh, no. No, he needs to wear the Mahler Bros golf polos. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. Today's episode is sponsored by Mahler Bros Golf. We all want to look good on the golf course, but it often comes at the expense of feeling good. Mahler Bros Golf has polos that look good and feel good. With their lightweight and stretchy material that hugs your body, you feel cool while looking just as cool. The polos are guaranteed to make you look better, but it's up to you to golf better. On a hot summer day on the golf course, there's no polo that you would rather wear than Muller Bros Golf Signature Polos. Today, use Belly Up as the promo code and get 15% off your order when you go to MullerBrosGolf.com. Again, that is MullerBros.com. Use promo code belly up for 15% off your order. So guys, again, I sure hope you did enjoy this emergency podcast. If you didn't, make sure to like button wherever you are listening from, iHeartRadio, Spotify, Google Podcasts, or wherever you get your preferred podcasts. But until then, guys, I will catch you on Friday's episode where I'm talking nothing but Call of Duty League information when it comes to Standy and my predictions for week one of the Major Four qualifying. But until then, I, Morgan, will catch you all later. Peace.